Hi there, welcome to Morgan's Fancies, and I'm just doing a small haul that I've done over the last couple of weeks. Um, well, smallish haul. <laughs> so, um, what you see before me is the, the ingredients to make a bigger jelly plate. I'm not willing to spend the prices on the other one. And this is about a quarter of the price. So that'll be an experiment for hopefully later on today. And um, I did, this is not the bottle of the alcohol that I've got. I've got another bottle of alcohol actually, and it's 91%. This is 70% alcohol. There's that. So I'll get these out of the way. Yes, jelly. <laughs> I'm addicted, I have to admit. I am addicted. Okay, so the two places that I went out to on the weekend, Stockade, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. This is their um, free, by the way, catalog. And let's see if I can, if you want the website, stockade.ca. It is an amazing store, and I forgot, didn't get half of what I wanted, but that's okay. This makes me an excuse to get, go back and ha have some more fun. But it's like, um, it's got a lot of wood products, but also it's a good source of, pay, of um, craft paint. Like all the Americana. I've never seen so, many, so much uh, Americana paints in one place. It's amazing. So I'm just going to go to my drawer since this is kind of, <laughs> kind of, uh, I'll just gonna pull the drawer out. It'll just be easier. Now, not all of this is new, but most of it is. <laughs> um, something about stockade too. If you buy two, 12 Americana, you get 20% off. So that's a, an awesome deal. So the ones I did get are primary blue, doxacine purple, you know me and my purple, <laughs> um, black plum, midnight blue. Now I got dark midnight blue last time, but this one up to my eye looks a little darker. I got another cadmium yellow. They changed the, the the label since I last got this. This is the old one, which is about half full and getting kind of yucky. This is the new one. Whoops, sorry. Going too fast for the camera. Where is it? Okay. Label side, proper way, Kathleen. How do you do this? Nope, wrong way. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I'm going to crack myself up. Hi, Eileen. Um, color called dragon fruit, which is like a pinky pink, pink, pink. Um, I'm just trying to make sure. I have a whole drawer full, but a lot of it's getting old. And I was excited to find and. I, I got colors I didn't have before. So, um, cadmium red. And I'm just going down the line here. Um, traditional raw sienna. I'll save that one for last. Traditional burnt sienna. Canyon orange. Medium flesh. I already have a, a flesh tone one. That's something else. I'll go into that in a minute. Uh, I already had that. Okay. Um, Ceram coat phthalo blue. Hi, Gary. And oh, set that aside. 
The other one I got um, the glazing medium, and these were by the way all like turned out to be like with a twenty percent discount. Um, twelve ish. I'm in, I'm missing a paint. What did I do with the other paint? There was twelve. Oh well, that would probably show up. I'm not sure where I would do with that one. Those are all. No, there's twelve there. Um, uh, the extender for the drying time. So I'm just gonna get these out of the way. I'll see if I can get them in this drawer. And when I was say, saying about the drawer, I'm not talking about this little drawer. I'm talking about a huge drawer across from me. It's not even full. It has ton, a ton of paint. <laughs> Hi, Jean. Um, I did grab two more metallics. They're both gold colors. And one's called Splendid Gold, and they're both dazzling me metallics. And the other one's Glorious Gold, because I was wearing low in gold. Okay. One, two, set that down. I'll put that down back later. Um, of course, this is not. I didn't haul. Shoot, but of course I knock everything over. You try to get it. You know when you try and grab something and you know it's gonna fall? Okay. I didn't haul this when I did get it, but I I added to a few about month and a half ago, maybe two months ago, I was in Curry's and got um these uh Add markers for a dollar a piece, and I kind of went crazy on them. But I didn't have something that could blend them, which I still don't because I tried it this morning and it didn't work. Um, it was suggested that I use like the lightest gray, but that it didn't work to my satisfaction. I'm gonna have to bug them, and I got this at the Wyndham. Uh, Wyndham Art Supply. Um, I'm gonna have to bug them to get in their um, colorless blenders, which is cool. There is a technique that you can do with printed paper and like um, inkjet paper and the markers, and it does work with this lighter one because they demoed it for me. Um, where you turn the paper over onto the surface, you want to copy the image. Of Onto and then um, use the the marker on the back of the paper to soak it, and it will transfer over to um, whatever you wanted it to be. These are xylene based markers, so they are very smelly. So keep your windows open. But I do like them, so I have an assortment here. <laughs> I only bought three though this time around. I didn't have an orange, so I bought an orange. And the two um, number one grays. I have just stuck my Prismacolor because I was trying to to blend them with my Prismacolor. It didn't work because you need something with xylene. But yeah, I'm planning to play them with with these. Ooh, salad! I think that's what I'm gonna have for lunch today too. I jumped from store to store. I, I'm sorry, but that's what happens. Um, when I was at Stockade, this is on sale. I, I know I can do it on my, um, but I couldn't pass it up for two bucks. It's um here. It is a Celtic cross and an eagle armed one, which is what I liked about it. Okay. Um, also at Stockade, I put 
I picked up from Joe Sonia's the permanent alizarin, so it's crimson, a big tube of it, and this was seven something. This one's a matte, which I wish I hadn't because I came across something else at um, with the Wyndham store. At the Wyndham store, they have. Then they didn't mention this on their website. I walk in, and what? Lo and behold, what do they have? They have PBOs, the Studio Acrylics. Um. So I picked up this bottle for four something. It was four fifty, I think. Oh, pardon my yucky nose, but yeah, this. Um. And it's the alizarin crimson. So uh, it's not iridescent like those. Ones are, I picked up two more. In, two more. I was I I used some restraint. These were five something. I used some restraint. Next time I go there, I probably won't. Cause they have two kinds of gold there, and oh yeah. And they were cheaper than the other store that I bought the other ones at. Welcome back, PB. Oh, uh, thanks. Yeah. Um, I haven't streamed half as much this year as I should have, especially the haul part because I, I've stocked this place <laughs> this year, and I'm having fun playing with them. Um, the ones that I picked up was the green blue so I'm excited to see what that's like and the orange yellow <laughs> especially since I've gotten addicted to uh, uh, addicted to jelly plating and I finally did because I I found finally found a place. This is at Wyndham Art Supply. I finally finally found a place that will sell individually the Neo Color Twos. Whoops! <laughs> In camera, Kath. The Neo Color Twos. Yay! Yes, yes. I believe. Actually, I. I blame you for mentioning who was using them, and then I went through and wa binge watched your videos. But for these ones, I picked up. And I didn't pick up a white. I don't know why, but I didn't. I picked up um, black. I think it's just called. Yeah, black. Um, reddish orange. Carmine, Ruby Red, Canary Yellow, Ultramarine Blue, Salmon, Russet, and what's this one called? Uh, Emerald Green. That's all I'm missing is a white. So, uh, yay. And they were nice enough. They even put in a cute little box for me. I, re I was really impressed with that art store because they, um, the two guys that were working there thought nothing of dropping everything and demoing things right on the spot for you. Really, really nice guys. I was really impressed with that store. So that's in Guelph for those of you who are local. Uh, um, that was the Wyndham Art Supply right down Wyndham Street. And it was my first time to Guelph, so um, not too much detour getting there, but that was funny. I'm also another thing that I'm also just starting with, and I'm late to the party, I know, is Zentangle. Um, Grabbing something else. 
for the most part, this is what I keep my markers in. I bought a set for Zen Tangling. Well, actually, it's a manga one. It had, it's from Secura. If I can get the four markers. There we go. Had the four mar um, markers and a mechanical pencil and an eraser. And this was 18 something. Not bad considering you know, sometimes you can pay quite a bit just for one um, marker. But yeah, I'm just, just, just starting with these. So bear with me. <laughs> Here's my notes. Basic Zen thing. <laughs> I want to play around a lot more with those. I'm just starting. Uh, where did I get that one? Dollar store, I think, or a garage sale? It was oh, garage sale. Still got the. It still got the tag on from a garage sale or a thrift store or something. I'm always on the lookout for um, storage. Because I'm not willing to pay the, the really expensive pricing. And uh, oh, where did I get this? I can't remember. I took the oh um, KW surplus Kitchener Waterloo soup surplus in the one in Stratford, not in um, Kitchener. So um, oh, I'm sorry, Phoebe, if you're having issues. But um, Phoebe. If you, I don't know about the one in Kitchener, but the one here in Stratford is amazing for art supplies. Weird. Um, go check out KW, KW Surplus, hopefully. Or anybody local KW surplus is a yes good somebody else that knows to, I don't know about yours but um, mine here in Stratford it's Stratford KW surplus it's still called KW surplus um, yeah um, recently I got a whole bunch of alcohol inks there and, and uh, it's obvious that nobody knew what they were because I got them for a fraction of the, the cost. I don't know about if yours got that, but ours and Stroffer did. Yeah, ours has a lot of scrapping and stuff. Strangely, the London one does not. Although they've been having bottles and stuff that were. They have like spray bottles and whatnot in the London one. That's one, one of the reason why I like going to that one. Yep. KW surplus. Somebody else that knows my excitement. Because I know my niece was. Oh, he didn't? The Stratford one. Maybe. The Stratford one had at one point so many Spellbinder dies. It still has um, a little bit of them, but when they had a, an abundance, I grabbed a whole bunch. Okay, I bought the container too, but that was at a doll at um, Dollarama. But what's in here? I got at Stockade, and that's what this spray is for. It's it's about 45 minutes. Not that long. You go down Highway 7 east, no, west, excuse me. <laughs> you go west on um, 7 8 and you'll hit it because 7 8 turns into our Ontario Street. See, we could do um, exchanges and have a lot, a lot of fun. What does Didi go? Call me. 
anyways, <laughs> these are, this is a line from Deco Art called Ink Effects. I saw a demo online um, before and I got so excited. These, you put a, you can do your designs on paper. You let them um, dry for like 45 minutes and then you take the paper, flip it up onto fabric, any light color fabric, and um, put it down. Take a hot iron on the hottest set setting and keep it moving. And then you, it's like a stamp. You transfer the ink from the paper to the, the fabric. I thought that was so cool and amazing. The only thing is, is they don't have a white in the line. Um, they do have, um, a spray for cotton fabrics. So I grabbed that and I grabbed every color they had. Two, four, six, eight, ten. So there's 12 colors in line as far as I know. So colors, and I think they're just like named green, light green, stuff like that. Red, very basic color names, but I grabbed the whole thing. Since they were this, these ones cost me two ninety nine. This cost me four ninety five. So not a big investment, but I was excited. I've been there a couple of times to the art house studio. I I was just there maybe um, two weeks ago. I think not this pay period, um, which was just Friday, but the one before. I was just there, but I've only been like twice. It was a while before I could get back. No, I'm saying I'm lying. It was been a month. Excuse me. It's been a month because I was on vacation when I went. But yeah, um, she's fun too. Um, one of the things, and I already started cutting it up, the, where did I put it? There it is. That I got to, uh, hold on, there's some more stuff back there, um, that I got, I thought I'd cut it up and make cool patterns for jelly plates. This is at the dollar store. It's just, uh, I think it cost me a dollar. Um, one of their placemats, I think it was. I think I have the thing still attached somewhere. Yeah, it's a placemat. <laughs> yeah, even though I was only in that one one time, she remembered me, so that was an awesome thing. She's not expecting that. All right. Um, There are other things that I've bought in over the last little bit, but I'm not thinking right now. A lot of what I bought is just like stencil material that I haven't gotten around to actually using yet. I'm going to, and I had to owe people some stencils I haven't forgotten. Um, it's just getting around to do them and having the money to send it out. I did get on sale. I don't know if they're discontinuing this stuff, but they only had two. I, I wasn't greedy. I only got one, but, uh, the cut and dry, um, stamp felt pad, pad felt, excuse me. I thought, um, cause the other stuff that I put my reinkers for the two colors that I don't have pads for yet, um, for distress, are kind of like, I just, let's just say I didn't like the, the pad material. It leaks everywhere. So, um, I bought this stuff knowing that it's going to be better. I'm going to make, oh, just plain 
ink pad out of those ones for my uh, my uh, other two distress colors, which I finally got all the way. I just need the three inkers now. And I finally got myself a hint, a small, <laughs> I have archival ink, but the huge pad, I find it very cumbersome and I don't really like it. Um, I got one that I could actually put my hand around. So that's a good thing. So thinking that's about all I had in my haul this week, probably missing stuff and I'm forgetting stuff put away maybe. I'm still working on getting papers done for the junk journal. And I think that's it because I think I already hauled the other part, the other stuff from um, last week, two weeks ago. Another KW surplus fine. It's tiny though. Is my hand fits over it. It took me a long time to get used to it. So I'm going to end this haul in the recording. I'm still going to be, um, I'm still going to, uh, be on and probably play a little bit, but I'm going to stop this haul right now. Thanks for joining me and, uh, see you next time.